outside our studio. That about covers it. Yeah. No doubt about it. You don't say that on May 2nd or 3rd no. very no. often, but that's what we have. We will start, though, up in Reno. Why in Reno? Because they set a record rainfall for the date yesterday. 46 one-hundreds fell as of 5 p.m. That broke the daily rainfall record at the Reno-Tahoe International Airport. The old mark was 36 one-hundreds way back in 1905. You go, Reno. That's not bad. Uh, not only that, there was snow up in the hills. I know the UC Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab at about three to four inches of snow. They'll update that probably around eight or nine o'clock in the morning. You can see that activity going right over Reno. Looks like they're still getting some rain and maybe some lightning or thunderstorms. I would not be surprised if more falls. Chris Henry's in Morgan Hill. He sent this Mamatis cloud in South San Jose yesterday. Mamatis clouds are a little rare around here. They form in the unstable area of a cumulonimbus cloud, often indicate hail or heavy rain is near. You see pouches underneath the cloud base. See that? Uh, so that, that's, to see that tells you that we have a little bit of activity going on in an unstable air mass, and that's exactly what we had yesterday. Santa Cruz Mountains saying, come catch me if you can. Bonnie Dune, an inch and a half. Ben Lohman, almost an inch. Davenport, over an inch. Oakland, that's a Broadway Terrace an inch of rain. There were some pretty good cells yesterday, about 1, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and it was, if you had one come over you, it was intense rain. Vallejo, San Francisco, Fairfax, uh, around 3 quarters of an inch, Moraga, 2 thirds, and SFO in Napa, about a half inch. Unofficially, I heard there was more rain in Napa than that, but I, that, that's the most I've seen based on the information I have. Evergreen 44 100s in Petaluma picked up four tenths. So today's forecast, off and on rain in the morning, mainly coast and bay, not so much inland as the low is retrograde a little bit, but possible thunderstorms today and a little bit warmer. You can see areas north and east starting to, looks like the uh, returns are weakening, but that just means if you get some breaks in those clouds, that's going to fire up some activity later today. A lot of this moisture, though, streaming up into Santa Cruz, Santa Clara Valley, then San Jose, Fremont, Oakland, San Rafael West. That looks to be the main focus. Southeast wind, Mountain View, southeast San Jose, southeast Hayward, SFO southeast, Half Moon Bay southeast. What's that mean? That means we're going to be warmer today. 40s, 50s on the temps, upper 40s, low 50s, and the low is in no hurry to go anywhere, so it'll be very active again today. Look at all the lightning strikes in the valley. I expect more of that today. Probably focus more towards uh, the Central Valley, though, instead of the northern, as that low starts to ever so slowly go south. Livermore, I don't think you'll get that much, but if a one cell parked it there, maybe that's possible. But another third to a half inch looks likely, or a quarter of an inch. Now, there's not a lot of snow out of this. It's a heavy, wet snow, but they are still getting some up in the mountains. And look at that. There's still some pretty good rain here, forecasts for the, over the next seven days here. 50s, 60s, mid-60s on some of these temps. Rain moves south on Thursday, then generally improving, but still a lot of cloud cover in the next couple of days. All right. Thank you, Scott.